to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning ladies and gentlemen Get ready to go because we are getting out of here. That's right. We are getting out of here. There you go. This is a nice place to stop at and uh, rest for the night. Now we have done that. Now we are ready to roll. And here we are. We are getting out of here, so that's coming right along with us. And uh, let's have ourselves a fantastic day. Let's see what else we'll be able to show you today. See what kind of goodies will happen today. I am finally getting into an area where there is less snow. I like it. Yes. And the sun was shining through there earlier, but now it's starting to get a little bit cloudy. But at least we have nice dry roads. We have about 290 miles to go to our delivery. And we still haven't gotten any reload yet, but I'm sure they will have something for me. But so far they haven't sent me anything yet. But it's just a nice day to be out here. I'm just kind of hoping I'll get a load towards Toronto. That way I get me some more miles in, or if they give me a load to Madison Hat or something like that, like towards Alberta, Alberta, I'll be okay with that too. I wouldn't mind. As long as it's not just straight back home, you know. Anything but home I would appreciate, you know. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Just a matter of time and we'll know, I guess. This afternoon we should find out. Should be at uh, my delivery place probably about uh, 2.30, 3 o'clock, something like that. GPS says right now at 2 o'clock, 2.05 I should be there, but uh, I might stop somewhere and take a little break or something like that. But we'll see. I might just try and get at least through St. Louis before uh, before the bad rush hour will start, you know. So if I can get there maybe by 1 o'clock or something like that, at least that way I'm through there. Once I'm on the south side, maybe I'll make a pit stop there. But then again, then I'll be really close to the place too, you know. So I might just continue on, but we'll see what happens. But I would really like to get through there before rush hour because that's a place where you get really heavy traffic if it's rush hour time, you know. And Anytime after 2 o'clock, it'll probably be uh, a little tougher to get through there, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Here we are in Hannibal, Missouri. That's right. A little bit of a town that we got to go through. Real slow as well. I don't know. They got a Burger King up here to the right. Yeah. It's a very neat little town that we go through here. Looks very neat. Got a lot of lights in between there though, but other than that, it looks very nice. Very nice little town. But there is usually a lot of cops patrolling this stretch of the highway. I remember a couple of times I gone through here, I seen like three or four cops. Huh, look at that, speaking of them. There's one coming up there by the light right away. <laughs> Yeah, here you will see him right there on the camera to the left. There he is, going by. That's what I remembered uh, from a while back ago I come through here. There's like cops everywhere, all the time here, you know. You might see three or four of them just in a little, uh, maybe about a mile stretch or so. <laughs> so you know, he made a turn and come right back. Yeah, he just made a U-turn there. He went into the mall there and he made right a U-turner. I'm looking in the mirror, eh? 
And here he comes, he comes right beside us right now. Yeah, see, there he goes. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're heavily patrolling this area all the time. Yeah, oh well. I just get a good kick out of that, you know. Why do you need three or four cops in a little stretch like this, you know? So I guess you better want to be going through here with caution. You definitely don't want to be speeding going through this town, that's for sure. Because <laughs> they're patrolling it like a hawk. You know, that's just hilarious. For me, at any ways, I mean, I don't know, for somebody else that might get pulled over, might not be too hilarious, but <laughs> for me, it's hilarious when I go through a little town like this and you see three, four cops and they're patrolling it heavily like this guy was, you know. They got a, a light up there too, like we're, uh, like at the st uh, traffic stop light there. They got like a camera up there too. They go to uh, red light or whatever, they'll take pictures of you, eh? That's right. Let's see. Well, that's the only one that I've seen so far today, but that doesn't mean they're not out here. <laughs> they might be hiding somewhere. See, that's where it says photo enforcement. Yep. See, there is another one right here. They must just love to keep track of everything, eh? Yeah, well, looks like we made it through with no problems. Anyways, it's a little bit of a mall up here. A few miles here where we gotta just take a real slow going through this town. And that's all. Well, well, well guys, look at this. We are gonna go over a river. I don't know exactly what this river is called, but hey, it don't really matter, I guess. Just gonna go right across it. Maybe they have a sign there. Let's see, entering St. Louis County. All right, well, I don't really know. It doesn't say what kind of river it is, but that's all right. Just figured I'd show you guys this little river up here and let you guys see what I see. That's right. And we got 124 miles to go, so about two hours to get to my delivery place. And we already got ourselves a reload. We're going to be reloading out of Memphis, Tennessee and going back home again. That's exactly what I was saying earlier that uh, that's what I suspected that I was going to get something just to go back home. Didn't know where from where I would get it but uh, I kind of figured that I would just be getting something to go home but oh well I guess I'll be home for Saturday then at least or maybe for the weekend at all completely you know. We'll see how it turns out, but the load is actually going to Calgary, but I'm sorry, I'm sort of debating on asking them if I can take it through to Calgary, but not sure yet if I will. I might just go home and whatever, be home for the weekend. That'd be okay too. Alrighty guys, here we are in St. Louis, Missouri. That's right. And as I suspected around this time of the day, I wouldn't see too much of a traffic going through here and I guess I'm right. Of course there's vehicles out here, but uh, it's not rush hour just yet. Yeah. I guess we better slow down for making this uh, exit up here. We gotta take this uh, 270 towards Memphis. I think where we deliver to is not that far from Memphis either, I think. I mean, I haven't looked it up, but I think as far as I can tell on the map, it doesn't look too far from Memphis. But we'll see. We'll see later on. We'll see how this 270 will be going up to uh, I-55. We got to go up to I-55 and that's where we... Uh, make our exit to go on to 55 South. We go on there for a while and then we will uh, be at our delivery place. Continue on this road for 12 miles. 
See, there you go, 12 miles. We'll be on I-55. That's right. Let's move over into this lane. I think that lane exits pretty soon, too. But gorgeous sunshine out here today. It's plus six right now. Just gorgeous. <coughs> and if you haven't noticed, you can now see the grass. Before there was still snow a little bit here and there and now I don't see no more snow. Pretty much grass. It's not green grass but it's at least grass. That's nice to see for a change. I just had me a little bit of a pit stop up here. There's a little tiny truck stop down here but managed to park in a spot and I had to stop since this morning. I left this morning I hadn't made one pit stop yet so it was that time to make a pit stop <clears throat> had me a bite to eat now we only got 33 miles to go to our delivery I figure just in case I gotta Zero wait there for a while or whatever. That way I would have me something to eat. I'll be all good to go once I'm done unloading. I won't have to worry about anything. I can just put her in gear and start heading toward Memphis, you know. <clears throat> I've had my half an hour feet. off now. Take the entrance to the left on I-55 South. So here we go. Let's make our way down to uh, Jackson. Let's get this load off. Yeah, that's right. Let's get this load off. As soon as we can get back on the interstate, we'll be able to do that. Here we go. Yeah. Now we're on the off ramp, on ramp to the Interstate 55. That's right. It's actually a fairly gorgeous area up here. It's a little bit hilly. And it looks gorgeous when you drive down the road here. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but right now we're going to go downhill into a valley. Yeah, so here we go. Let's put the hammer down and let's go make our delivery. Well guys, we have just finished doing our delivery. Now we are going to go back onto the interstate and uh, start heading towards uh, Memphis, Tennessee. We got 210 miles to go. Just got to make sure that this... Uh, chunk yard truck driver here gets off the road I think he's just going up to the other yard up here to pick up a trailer or something like that so he's going really slow but we can't pass him so he's gonna have to take it easy until he gets off the road or until I get on the interstate there I could certainly pass him there's two lanes right but yeah, we got our load off and it's like 3.15 in the afternoon. We got 210 miles to go, so uh, we got probably about three and a half hours worth of driving yet. So uh, I don't think we can make it all the way to Memphis, but very close to it. So we'll see uh, what truck stop we can pull into before Memphis and we'll spend the night over there. So we'll have some good miles behind us today. Well, that's a fact. Well, it looks like he's wanting to turn off over here. That's what I thought that he was going to do. So, let's go. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Here we go. Well, guys, we are about 80 miles for the split off that goes towards uh, Memphis, Tennessee. And I looked it up. There is a Flying J right there at the, uh, pretty much at the split there. So 
So I think that's where we're going to be stopping at for tonight. I think that's about as far as I want to go. Well, I would really like to go to the customer, but I don't think I can stay at the customer, you know. But hey, we're going to be there in about an hour and a half. And that sun is over there trying to go down, down, down. That's right, it's starting to disappear. Right here in the next 20 minutes, it's going to be dark. But it's just an absolutely gorgeous sunset over there. I like it when it goes down like that. You can see the sun like that real nicely. And it's nice and red like it is up there. Just absolutely gorgeous to me. That's the beauty of driving trucks sometimes, you know. You get to see some beautiful sunrises and sunsets. And you get to see different weather. You might see snow one day and the next day you might not see snow anymore. Yeah, that's the beauty about driving. You see all kinds of stuff here on the road. Well, guys, we are in West Memphis. Well, I just about said Tennessee, but... We are actually in Arkansas. That's right. We are very close to Tennessee. And we will be loading out of here tomorrow morning out of Memphis, Tennessee. So, uh, but we are at the Petro over here. And, uh, well, we just had ourselves a fantastic dinner. It was quite full in the restaurant there, but uh, hey. We managed to get a bite to eat, so now we are done for today. So all that's left to do for me is put this video together and render it, and then we can upload it to YouTube, and then it's ready for you guys. <laughs> that's right. But anyways, let's go ahead and do that. And I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Yes, behind me, that day is gonna come. I'm breaking the walls down.